What's going on guys? Um, just thought we'd come out to the garage today and go over the C-clip illuminators a little bit. Um, I got the brand new studs in and I want to switch those out, but I noticed that the illuminator, after it's pressed on the axle, if it's not already sealed up, the uh, head on the ARP wheel stud is really tight to the uh, eliminator so the eliminator really needs to be sealed together pressed together and I'm going to show you what I mean by that but um, if you just go ahead and I did this before on uh, the last time I did this job it just works a lot better in my opinion to uh, not have to worry about fumbling around with putting sealant while you're trying to put the axle in the car so what we're going to do um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I already did one of them. Um, I'm going to show you what I did, explain what I did, and what I used to do it. Okay, so when you get these from Strange, they'll press the, the eliminator on. And um, all you have to do is put sealer in between these two halves. Um, and like I said, doing it in the car would be a little bit tough to do in my opinion. So I like doing them out here on the bench. And what I do is um, when you put these together, if you notice down in there, it's not threaded all the way to account for the backing plate or whatever when you have drums. And that's where you'd really run into a problem if you had drums having discs like I do. There's plenty of room. I could switch one of these out if I wanted, but I just prefer to do it out on the bench. So what you're going to have to do is take up that room is you're gonna have to use some extra washers okay so when you tighten that nut up you'll squeeze these two halves together and then they'll be sealed and then after you do that if you see what I'm talking about see how the head on these is really low profile okay if it's squeezed back together again you got quite a bit more room I pulled it apart so I could uh, do this but I'll show you these are the wheel studs I had to get and these are half 20 and if you notice you can kind of see here here's one I'd taken out but you can see how much taller that head of that bolt is so without it pressed together it's not going to fit but once you do you get it all sealed up that's what you'll have if you see now, I got plenty of room, won't have an issue, turn fine. Um, yeah, just I'll let that set up overnight before I go taking it apart. But that's basically it. So another thing I wanted to mention, um, I always used ultra black on the uh, whenever I did a rear axle. And uh, not long ago, I found out that Permatex actually makes one for gear oil and the ultra black worked pretty well but i still uh i would notice that i got some seepage um around the cover no matter even if i used ultra black it would just seep a little bit so this stuff it has um what it's made of holds up better to friction modifier and other stuff in the gear oil so it just seems like it it works a lot better and then um when you're putting in your wheel stud you want to use a uh, loctite um, red, which is high strength, is um, what a lot of guys use, but I like using the blue. That way it's just not as hard to take back out. And I like using these because it's a, it's a stick, gel stick, so it doesn't make much mess. And um, you don't have to worry about it um, sliding down the threads and getting up into where your lug nuts would be. I also use it on on these bolts for the ring gear and uh, those torque at 80 foot pounds so if you notice that I, I put dashes there because I usually like to do it in three steps and uh, works out pretty good that way I just I just use the factory four bolts um, they work fine I've never had an issue so that's all together and uh, we get this axle together and we'll be all ready to go back in hopefully uh, later this weekend Alright guys, well that's pretty much all there is to um, 
sealing up your strange C-clip eliminators and switching out those studs. Like I said, in my opinion, it just makes it uh, a little bit easier to do the job. Uh, you're not so cramped up down there when you're putting the axle in the rear end to uh, seal up those two halves. Just one step less you have to do. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I appreciate it if you subscribe. Um, like the video if you liked it and uh, comment. I always try to read all the comments. Um, I've got another cool video coming up. Um, you notice I've seen a lot of people share uh, videos on putting a 3G alternator on a Fox body and I've got some cool info. I think it's pretty neat on um, on that stuff so a lot something pretty cool that nobody's covered in my opinion on do you need to upgrade and how much should you upgrade so um if you haven't rang the bell please do that so you see the notification on that i think that's going to be a really neat video i'm kind of excited to do that one so maybe this weekend if we have time we'll do that but our biggest priority right now though is putting these axles back in and getting the car back on the ground so Thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time.